Hey everyone, my name is Trevor and welcome back to another video and today guys is it has been three years since I have started doing YouTube and I mean it's just amazing to think about I mean three years doing a channel and I mean it's 2,000 subs I know a lot of youtubers they say oh well I got I got hundred thousand subs or hundreds of thousands in my four years because and that's cool but I just want to say that I don't care how many subs I got, it's just amazing that I have them. Because, <laughs> I mean, I just want to thank everyone that has subscribed to me over the years and has stayed with me for so long. I mean, I know people always say, oh, I got the best community ever. I don't want to say I got the best. I want to just say I got a great community. Because, I mean, a lot of people feel a little down sometimes. And I hope that you guys will be helping each other do amazing things be happy about who you are be happy about what you're doing because I mean without that where would our world be we because I mean one of the things I love to do is help make people feel better and it's just the way I am so I hope that if anyone feels terrible just turn on one of my videos and help yourself feel better if it helps perfect if it doesn't I will just try next time. I'll try harder, and I'm hoping that's what I do in this next year. I mean, I'm learning as I go. And I'm hoping that it will be something very, very helpful for anybody who needs help brightening up their day. So, I hope it will just be worthwhile, so hopefully everyone will feel better. It's one of the things I really want to make sure everyone is. Hope that everyone is happy, and that no one feels terrible. I mean... On the Nightmare Group, I know I kind of said I was quitting that channel, but I think I might go back to it, or I might change the name and concept of it. It all depends, because, I mean, when I made the video, I got a lot of support people saying that people who just talk trash about people are stupid, and that they shouldn't be around that much. I mean, it wasn't your exact words, but it's kind of what you get out of it, you know, because... When you think about it, when somebody hates on you, it's not helping anybody. Trying to be constructive in your criticism is not helpful. And I mean, I just wish that this world was full of people who just didn't say horrible things and just left things to be better. Because I mean, when you just talk trash about somebody, it's not perfect. Nobody's perfect, and I know that for a fact. I don't try to say I'm perfect. I'm not trying to say anybody is perfect, and I'm not saying anybody's terrible. Everyone's great in their own way. Everyone's beautiful in their own way, and that's what I kind of want people to see, that even though you might not feel it, or that you might even hate yourself about it, that you're still beautiful in your own way, and that you should just embrace who you are. And learn to love yourself, because once you learn to love yourself, there's nothing you can't accomplish. In three years, that took a lot for me to understand. I mean, when I first started and people hated me, it, it was kind of the fact of I wanted to show people that no matter who really talks down on you, it's better to just do what you do is fun and, and hope that people will back you up on it. When I did the Nightmare Group, and I kind of said I was done with that channel, I just kind of said, you know what, I got a place for people who love me, and that's it. And I mean, I might go back to it, still do the channel, and, and that's all I want to say. But I really want to say thank you guys so much for all the support that you give me, and I hope you all have a great day. Also, here's a reaction to Matt Pat's latest theory. Hope you all enjoy it. Bye! Hello everyone, my name is Fred Bear and welcome back to another video. Now, I am going to be reacting to uh, a theory video, yes, from the game theorist, also known as MatPat. So, it's one about the last uh, games that I think Scott's going to be making, because he said he's going to be done with making FNAF games, hasn't he? Yes. 
And I think it would be fitting if I watched it. Because I am allegedly one of the first animatronics that has been used. So I feel like I should see where this all ends. So it appears that MatPat was right. So why don't we get this started? Three, two, one, go. Toy MatPat, the high school years. All right. Let's see what this is about. Yesterday was so amazing. What the I heck is going on? Guy. And I know just how to get him. He'll be mine by the end of the day. I just know it. I'll All tell right. Him that I've solved the lore of his games and constructed a timeline. And once he's there, I'll have him. Oh. And once I have him, he'll be mine forever. There's only Good on one you. thing that could go wrong. What is that? What could go wrong? Huh? What are you doing to Scott? How can Mangle be walking around in FNAF 2 before all the animatronics are possessed? What? How can Springtrap be experimenting with Remnant when he's sealed in a wall? Uh... I... I... Answer me! I don't know. Oh That's gosh. That's exactly what I worried might go wrong. No! No! Don't use the fan! Hello, Why are you Internet? torturing Scott? Welcome to Game Theory. Getting Thanks. burned by hippos since 2018. <laughs> Not every story has to have significance, you know? Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes a story is just a story. You try well, to read yes. into every little thing and uh, find meaning in everything anyone says. You'll just Mr. drive hippo. yourself crazy. Kinda, Mr. kinda harsh there, Scott. Speaking of stories, Mr. Hippo, what? Of theory, I was at the lowest of lows. The survival Ooh. logbook threw a lot of weird curveballs into the lore that I I, and I don't think anyone was really expecting. Reveals really? Like, like what? Like being the bite victim were interesting, but uh, also what? really difficult to explain away. And that's where things sat until now. With oh, both the good. release of the final FNAF book, The Fourth Closet, oh. and what seems to be the final FNAF game, Super FNAF Brothers Ultimate. Huh. They're all here. No, they're now, not. Both these releases were finally in a position There's to more see than all 50. the puzzle pieces we're working with, which means one last examination of the franchise from top to bottom. All starting right. Starting with Custom Night this week, and then next week, stepping back and looking across the entire timeline to see if we can wrap things up in a neat, blood soaked bow now that we can Ew. see all the events and key players. Well, let's so step see this. The curtain, fun time Foxy, Whoa. The show's about to start. It's time for me to pull a candy cadet and tell you a story. A story of uh, no, thank that never you. dies. A story. Story of never-ending suffering. Oh? And I'm not just talking about me trying to write these theories. Today, I tell you the story of how Ultimate Custom Night ends the FNAF franchise in the same place where it all began. Well, that's so a good thing, I Custom guess. Night, you can tell that Scott's up to his usual tricks. All right. Oh. Yeah, that. But beyond Hello, the Bucket Bob. biggest troll, I mean, Scott has clearly taken a game that most of us assumed was just a fun little add-on to capstone the series and has all right. used it to deliver a full-on 100% canon addition to the franchise. All right. Huge lore reveals mostly hidden in character dialogue once you oh, die. Oh, music which is pretty nice Ready, don't you dare jump scare me. That was not nice. A lot. Like pop oh yeah, Can you I stop it? Night Marion kill me at 3 a.m. on purpose. I just really wanted to see what she would say in this case. He. What, you guys don't believe me? I think Seriously, Night Marion is he. I did it for the lore. I did it for the lore. The lore. Lines, we can immediately start piecing together what exactly is going on here. The All right. first set of lines reveals that we're powerless to escape. You and oh. I will be making music together oh. for a long, long time. All right. So. Oh gosh. More all voice right. lines indicate that not only are we trapped here for all eternity, we also can't die. Oh. Or maybe more accurately, we can die just over and over and over again. Well, that what stinks. A gift to relish, a victim that can't perish. Are you a poet? Oh gosh. I do not mean to bite that, but. Oh gosh, not that again. Don't have an Please, no. Knowledge of every element of this franchise. That toy Chica line is actually a fun little callback to one of my favorite no. franchise. Foxy Fighters. No. Don't you dare. You oh gosh. Our Please, no. Screwed, trapped for eternity in a never-ending cycle of torment and death. It should okay. be pretty obvious what's going on here, but I think Jacko Chica really sums up the situation best. Really? Whoa. 
as a turtle, and now you shall as well. Oh That's gosh. Right. We're trapped in heck. H really? double hockey sticks. Or toothpicks, like my family always said, since we valued proper capitalization. And from okay. there, it's just a hop, skip, and a karmic jump away from who we're playing as. None Afton. other than Springtrap himself, William Afton. All Not right. only does a one-way ticket to hell Doesn't follow make up sense. on the advice Henry gave us from FNAF 6. Although for one of you, oh. the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. So don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. Well, good luck for you, Afton. Confirm our relationship to each of these characters. We know who our friends are, and you are not one of them. I'm friends with you, Nightmare Fred Bear. You're my nightmare counterpart. But twisted on its head. If our character okay. was someone like, say, Michael Afton, aka the crying child, aka another character who can't die, well then Fred Bear would single us out as not his friend. He's nah, not you're good. to Michael uh -huh. because Michael never did anything to hurt him. I am the fearful reflection of what you have created. Wow. Well, killed Henry's daughter, Voice actors are great. Puppet. Nightmare on here is the dark reflection of the puppet. They're okay. confirming that we're playing as William Afton. Even oh. Ballora offers right. clues that we're playing as William. Admit it. You wanted to let me in. Oh. Ballora's song and sister location was all about William hiding behind walls in the aftermath of his child's death, which left an all empty right. room and an empty tomb in his life. Oh, hmm. I see is an empty room. No more joy, an empty tomb. I thought it was more lovely than out, that. But now that we're in William's personal hell, she's able to call him out for all his hidden feelings. William all right. wanted to let the woman that Ballora represents in, his but he wife? just couldn't do it thanks to his grief. Hence Is it his wife? For his real desires, you wanted to let me in. So all we're right. a murderer trapped in a personal hell of our own creation, forced oh. to deal with the sins of our past for all eternity. Well, Sound good luck familiar? with that. It should. It was my first ever FNAF theory. Oh. No joke. Way back really? in episode one of the FNAF series, I predicted it was a game about someone trapped in purgatory, tormented by their crimes for all eternity. Oh. Granted, the series had only just begun, and the theory tied everything <laughs> back to a real but he's a little murders, baby. It's actually really awesome to think that we've come full circle. That, from a theory standpoint at least, these videos have circled back around to where it all began. It's fun. Wow. A beautiful, horrific, child murdery bookend of a story. So thanks, Scott. Right. I have no doubt that you structured your franchise's final send off that way just so I could have an I told you so moment at the very end after <laughs> well, years of getting we'll thwarted get mad by your twisting my story. It's very Scott. nice of you to throw me a nice. bone. Might as well call me Bangle. <laughs> More on that next week. But no. of course, it wouldn't be FNAF if things were just that simple. No, it's not good enough for William to be held in a perpetual state of agony. There's okay. something keeping us here. Looking through what all the voice it? lines, there's one other entity that's oh. mentioned over and over That weird again. little child. you should not have killed. Who is I that? Made, but not by you. By the one you should not have killed. Who is the one you should... That voice is like nails on a chalkboard in my ears. Um, excuse me, what? The one I shouldn't have killed? You mean Voldemort? Oh, sorry, got him confused with you must not be named. But seriously, the I have one never seen Harry I Potter. shouldn't have killed in a franchise piled high with underage bodies. Okay, yeah, sure. All those other kids, nah, they deserved it. But that what? one, that one right there, yep, shouldn't have touched him. Now you're damned for all eternity. Yeah, how Sucks dare you? you. Anyway, this is the big mystery of the game. Who are they talking about? Well, by picking apart clues Crying from all child? sorts of different is it? locations. We can start piecing together who this one who must stay vague for lore purposes actually is. First, who is from it? the rest of the voice lines, we can identify that this character is a male. Oh. I have seen him. The one you shouldn't have killed. Alright. He's here and always watching the one you shouldn't have killed. Okay. Notice how both of them use the pronouns he and him. We also know that this guy specifically has a vendetta but against But that looks like a little bit of a girl. That, we have to turn our attention to the true stars of Ultimate Custom Night. Fredbear? The mediocre melodies. Oh. Without question, this crew of duct crawling rejects steal the spotlight huh. in Ultimate Custom Night. Going from okay. WTF are these guys doing here in FNAF 6 to breakout meme stars in Custom Night, Orville Elephant and the gang not only provide... Orville more Elephant, more Pink Patch, Mr. Hippo. Pour me a what? glass of just... Ice cold lemonade. Ooh. Ooh. You ever mix it with iced tea? You do like a little half lemonade, half wood. So you should try it some. Well, you can't because you're dead. <laughs> also deliver on huge well, lore reveals. For the most part, their lines are pretty disposable, but very. But did you think of my act? Uh, good. Welcome to the rest of your death. Wow. Just begun. 
I will never let you leave. I will never let you rest. Why not? Would you ninja skills? And if oh you gosh. Closely, you'll hear a female voice echoing back what they're saying. Oh, almost as okay. if puppets under someone else's control. This is how it feels. Oh and gosh, I can hear experience it. Experience it over and over and over again. All right. Forever. I will never let you leave. Why? Also, Ned Bear, you. Voice could be baby. Oh gosh. Not only does she sound similar. I guess you forgot oh. about me. But a clue may also come from the merch. A clue. The Funko action figurines of the characters from FNAF 6 all contain one piece of scrap baby. Oh, collect really? All the figurines collect all the pieces to form the character. Which might seem right. like just a random detail until you consider that they did the same thing with every character in Sister Location who would then go on to form Ennard. Each one contained all right. a piece that helped to create what would eventually form the larger whole. Just like Ennard oh. himself, a bunch of the other animatronics all rolled into one entity. Oof. This is especially important when you consider that a key reveal from the final FNAF novel, The Fourth Closet, is that William Afton created the living sister location Funtime animatronics by extracting remnant from the melted conglomeration of all the OG animatronics and injecting the new robots with it. Is Thus, that what the Fre new robots Funtime Freddy sharing is made with? The same set of souls. Just all like right. if the pieces of Baby slash Ennard had been repurposed to form Happy Frog and her friends. Oh. That's why Baby's voice would be heard across all oh. of Oh gosh, that's that creepy. Scrap baby, no, please get away from it. There's another explanation here. All and right. This is the voice of the one you should not have killed. As you can tell at this point, hmm. Ultimate Custom Night had a huge amount of voice acting. And yes. the nice thing about voice acting is that you need to hire, you know, actors, which means job postings. So of course, oh. for this game, Scott needed to make a ton of casting calls on the site Voices.com, all oh. identifying the roles that the actors would be playing. Some of the roles were obvious. Nightmare Balloon Boy, Pig Patch, Withered Chica, etc, etc. All uh, yes. characters that we're familiar with. Other casting calls, though, I'm aware were of a that. bit more vague. Monster, Monster, character in Whisper, Little Girl, Annoying Girl, Vengeful oh. Spirits. Now, if you track all the job spirit. postings, you can actually identify all every right. single role by who plays them. Monster is Jack Ochica. Oh. Character in Whisper is Trash in the Gang. Okay. Little Girl is the puppet. Annoying uh -huh. Girl is Dee Dee. He's got as always. So as not to ruin any surprises. You can actually identify each and every role. Except all right. for one. Vengeful Spirit. Okay. Played by Tabitha Skate. It's the only one that doesn't match up to any explicit character in the game. But we oh. know for a fact it exists since God himself left Tabitha an excellent review. Five stars. Well done, Tabitha. So All what right, is that's good. the vengeful spirit? Well, according to the casting call, Who? quote, this is for the voice of a young child who speaks in a whisper from the shadows. Oh. That sounds a lot like the voice that's whispering in the background. Please get that little child regions. away from me. This child is in control and is toying with the player who's helpless to change their situation or prevent their inevitable end. Yeah, what? well, being trapped in H-E double hockey sticks will do that to ya. The gender should not be immediately clear. It should work as either a young boy or a young girl. And you're welcome to do readings leaning one way or another. Ding, ding, oh, ding, ladies okay. and gentlemen, we have our winner. A puppeteer that's manipulating things from the shadows. A spirit who's out for revenge. A spirit who just so happens to occasionally show its face during game over screens. Yes, oh, that creepy that image creepy. of a face that's been haunting thumbnails of Ultimate Custom Night. That oh. is the face of our vengeful spirit. Okay. A spirit who, based on its last line, has an axe to grind and intends to enact revenge by keeping us tormented for all eternity. He tried to release all right. He How tried is that? to release us, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Why? I will hold you here. I will keep you here. Orville. No matter how many times they burn us. Orville. Just right, let things you, die. I'm gonna let that happen. I will hold you here. <laughs> Yikes! Somebody's okay. gotta get themselves a new hobby. But this is an important fishing. Line I love fishing. By now, many of you have probably seen the Old Man Consequences Easter egg. If yes. you set the character Old Man Consequences to level one difficulty and then complete his mini game, you get taken through a glitch to Old Man Consequences Pond, a character from FNAF World who encourages the spirit to quote leave the demon to his demons. Oh, Rest okay. Is William Afton actually a demon? the angry spirit to finally rest to give it up to move on instead just of just chasing it. down the demon william afton and spending eternity in acting revenge but that all leads to the question just who is let this it die spirit, the one william should not have killed who well 
it's Golden Freddy. Oh. For proof, look no further than the final cutscene of the game. If you manage to Is get it? the nearly impossible score of 9,800, 49 oh. animatronics at full difficulty, oh. you see Golden Freddy in his FNAF 1 form. Hello, which... Golden Freddy. Are you gonna keep twitching like that? Stop twitching. Stop it. Where are you going? Get back here. He's twitching just like Springtrap did in the trailers to FNAF 3. Someone else well, I who could guess that. to give up, to pass on. Someone who always comes back. And oh. just to dispel any confusion here, Golden Freddy isn't the crying child. Oh, this he isn't? It. It. Golden Freddy is All actually right. a victim that we've never actually seen outside of the FNAF 3 minigames, nor will ever see outside of that face in the vent. But more oh. on that next video, that final timeline episode I got cooking up. If you want to make oh, sure that me. you see it, hit subscribe now. That way you don't miss it. Because seriously, that is the one that everything up. We are subscribed. subscribe. Now is that time. But anyway, All right. Freddy is the soul that's still trapped. One that refuses to let go of his hate. His he rage. needs to really he let go. It in his line. He tried to release us, but I'm not going to let that happen. Oh. No matter how many times they burn us. Please. Three, the puppet tried to release everyone through the Happiest Day minigame. Fazbear Fright was burned down in an attempt to Please, cleanse just, Freddy's. Pizzeria just let it die, the Golden Freddy. It the spirit of revenge is and always will be there until he chooses to let go. That's why he's still twitching as he fades into the darkness. That's why his eyes are still white as he disappears. Oh, he is choosing okay. to remain here, to continue tormenting William, to ignore old man consequences, encouraging him to move on to the next life. Please. You know, this might be what Scott truly meant when he said that 50-20 mode in this game was impossible. Not just that it would be unbelievably difficult to overcome, which, let's face it, it is, but that there's no victory here that no matter how good of a player you are there is no winning this game because oh. there is no escape that even if you play it perfectly william is trapped and there is no happy ending for golden freddy in fact oh, you playing on. the game is continuing golden freddy's cycle of revenge old man consequences what? message might be for golden freddy absolutely oh, okay. rest your soul there is Please. nothing else rest your soul you Silly bear. I mean, we play and play and play this game for hours upon hours upon hours. Yes. Achieving higher and higher and higher stats in a game that's incredibly difficult. And what do we get from it? A cutscene that's kind of underwhelming. Well, Actually, yeah. Perhaps Old Man Consequences' message was for Golden Freddy, sure, but also for us. Us. Your own soul. There what? is nothing else. There is no oh. deeper ending here. There is no satisfaction. This is it. And by choosing to play, oh. we keep William's cycle of torment alive. We are literally Golden Freddy forcing William through okay. this over and over and over again. Refusing oh. to move on. Refusing to accept that there is nothing else. It's perhaps the most okay. satisfying, unsatisfying conclusion in all of gaming. And well, I mean, it's satisfying to me. Character decisions, well, it doesn't get any more seamless than that. What? In the end, the truth is as plain as day. You are Golden Freddy. Oh. Next week, the grand conclusion as I break down... How dare you say I'm Golden Freddy? I am Fredbear. Fred other games and the books as we try to piece together one mega final timeline. I told Stephanie the other day that I was reworking the FNAF timeline. She's like, what is this, like the 80th time? And I'm like, yeah, pretty much. So well, please your guess now too. as to where you think the events are going to fall. Make sure you subscribe so you're notified of the new video. And most okay. importantly of all, remember, that's just a theory. What the? A game theory. Thanks for... Proving me right for a change, Scott. <laughs> well, a good job for you. But did you see that? Hold on, let's see. Theory. Where is That's it? That's just. Why is Waluigi there? Of all places. Come on, Matt Pat. Why did you put him there? Who is he taking over? Um. Let's see. Is it Mr. Hippo? I'm getting asked to say Mr. Hippo. Oh well. So yeah, that was actually a very interesting theory. Saying that the player is Golden Freddy. I'm not Golden Freddy. If anybody's typing that in the comment right now, don't you dare. I am not Golden Freddy. I am Fredbear. Okay. So it appears that we are putting William through endless torture. Well... That's good on you, I guess. I'm not really sure what to say. Other than, I hope William eventually ends up where he's supposed to. 
And also, who is the vengeful spirit? Like, what's the name of this vengeful spirit that plagues Golden Freddy and making William not really stay? Because Henry tried to stop it. The puppet tried to stop it. And neither of it worked. Looks like Golden Freddy just really has a price to pay for William Afton killing him. Well, I just hope that it will all be fine. Well, anyways, everyone, that was an actually very interesting video. I hope MatPat will make more like this in the future. And let us know who do you want to listen to the timeline. Heck, you can even ask someone that's not even on our channel, or we could just have Derpy Shadow Freddy and Derpy Nightmare do it. Let's see if we can finally tell them what this story is. Because they keep asking us. It's getting annoying. Even annoying, more annoying than I could ever have hoped or thought. It's very, very hard to really listen to them do it over and over again. They keep asking us, what's the story? What's the story? What's the story? We don't know the full story. We also tried giving them the books, but they wouldn't read them. They said that there's no pictures in the books, so why read them? I don't know. They're weird characters. Well, anyways, everyone. My name is Fred Bear, and I will see you in the next video. Farewell, everyone. So, guys, there's one last thing that I think you shall know. Is that the fact that this channel... Let me just quickly... Pull it up right here. Hold on. Having over 2,600 subscribers is amazing. And the fact that the Nightmare Group is almost at 300, probably is at 300 when this video comes out, I don't know, is completely thoughtful and everything. So the Nightmare Group will be coming back probably in the near future, I know. Well, I probably said, but thank you guys all for the support that you gave me. I know I kind of went heartfelt in trying to help people who probably don't feel good right now, or probably don't feel in their right minds right now, feel better, and then the reaction, and now I'm saying thank you and everything. But, you know, it's it's a lot different now. Maybe in my four-year anniversary, if I still do YouTube in that year, even though I don't do it completely yeah, like I used to in my first two my first years too. I still want to do it. I want to keep making videos for you guys and it will all be dependent on you. So yeah, hopefully you guys will all enjoy my content as I bring it out. So it will be a lot easier for all of us and I will make sure that I get the videos out when I can and probably not delay them a few days than I thought they would probably be out. Because I mean I have like a bad thing going on where I so I was going to do weekly, and then I did weekly, but then school kind of took over, and then the yada, yada, yada came. A lot of problems I had to take care of, but hopefully everything will be fixed so I can do videos when I want to. So, anyways, everyone, my name's, Shal my name's Trevor, not Shalfrey. I'm not going to do that anymore. Whenever you see my face, it's going to be Trevor. So, anyways, guys, my name's Trevor, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And here's to another year of, of YouTube. Bye, everyone.